All right. I'm uh, working on the painting Garden of the Gods. I'm just starting to block the painting in. You saw me just spray some plain water on the canvas to moisten the surface. And I'm going through and blocking in certain areas of color. I'm using acrylic paint. It's water based, water mixable. And working with a square brush. I'm just basically laying in the shapes of different areas of color and it's more of a suggestion at this point of what the painting will look like. I just want to basically get a start on it and get a feel for the subject and uh, I like to work fast. This is done and almost done in real time. <coughs> I did edit a little bit so it wasn't so long but uh, I had started uh, blocking the end of the sky before I started this stage of the painting so basically I'm uh, I'm using uh, about four colors uh, cadmium white uh, Payne's gray some uh, crimson yellow ochre uh, and uh, working to basically cover the canvas so that I can get all of the white covered <coughs> so it's not distracting all right I've laid in more or less the shape of the of the background and I want to start uh, indicating some of the shapes of the foreground and middle ground. Again, working with uh, just a limited pal uh, palette, probably uh, five or six colors. The acrylic handles real easily. Uh, this is a wet and wet technique. Uh, as this dries, I will come back over it and start adding more detail. And the beauty of acrylic is that uh, if there's something I don't like about it, it's fairly easy to change. At this stage, I would just stop and spray it down a little bit and then wipe it off. Once it's dried, which it does dry fast, uh, I could, uh, if it had some texture built up, I could just uh, scrape it or sand it down and paint right over it. And it covers pretty well, so it's not, not a problem. I'm uh, working here toward the end of this stage of the painting. Uh, as you can see, my brush tip just broke off. and These brushes, some of them are 30, 40 years old. But I like them so well, I keep them to work with. They have a character all their own. All right, now I'm going to go in here and, and lay in some of the sandstone structures of the Garden of the Gods. So I'm starting to add a little bit of, of color. Uh, crimson and yellow ochre and cadmium white. A little touch of Payne's gray mixed in with it. And uh, basically I'm looking to just define some of the shapes of the, of the rock formations. As I go back in, uh, where of the uh, light source is coming from the west or from the east side of this of this image, and uh, being aware of that, I put the highlights on the on where they would hit on the uh, west side of the structures. Again, at this point. I'm not interested in detail at all. I'm just interested in blocking in the shapes and uh, arrangement of the composition of the colors uh, so that I can come back later and start working on the detail.
this uh, this painting is uh, very dramatic if any any of you have ever been out to the Garden of the Gods in Colorado uh, it's a fantastic place and just uh, treat uh, every which way you look there's there's a painting that could be designed a very dramatic setting I hope to be able to capture the spirit and the essence of that of that setting and so I I'll leave you with my first finished stage.